I just came back from a trip to Cuba and in in our way to that trip we were interrogated me and my comrade Lynn um, and tried, we were stopped from boarding the plane several times um, in Mexico we they didn't want to print out our boarding pass they tried to stop us we showed them our affidavit our rights um, and it, it took it took hours in the airport to uh, to be able to finally print out a boarding pass and we were about to miss our flight but we we were able to get on and then when we were going to enter um cuba again because it was a connecting flight we had issues again for um a second time um interrogated again asking us what our business was doing in cuba and why we were going um, but, you know, we have the right to support the Cuban people. We have the right to um, defend our, our our human rights and um, as humanitarian people um, taking um, medical aid, we are allowed to enter Cuba. Um, so we were finally allowed to, but uh, there has been several attacks to our um, one of our co-chairs, Mark Friedman, um, FBI visiting and interrogating his house, um, multiple visits of the FBI um, knocking on his door, um, constantly harassing people, other other members. Um, I know they also would um, constantly attack um, a former um, member of ours, Lawrence Reyes, uh, may he rest in peace. Um, it, he was also attacked a lot by uh, the the FBI, and um, we've had we've had uh, uh, some of our comrades who have gone with us to the island get get interrogated on their way back to the U.S. Specifically in Miami, where we know a lot of uh, the people are very against um, the um, Cuban freedom, and they are very for the blockade. Um, we've had we've had people. Um, and they they usually target the youth, you know, people who don't really know how to articulate their rights or sometimes are just a little bit more vulnerable. And just um, since we don't really know that this can happen, because uh, a lot of the times we don't know our history, like what we were all learning here today um, of these attacks of the FBI in the past, like a lot of us don't know that this is a possibility, which is why I value this information so much. Um, they They picked on a new member who... Did, who was just jo who had just joined about like a week before and um they were they were interrogated for hours and they were they were threatened um to with taking them to jail and uh, they were saying what they were doing was wrong and all this stuff but um eventually they were able to get out of it and um they made it home safe um but yes this this struggle it's we we think about it a lot and we wonder why why is cuba so threatening to the us why why is this little island you know a couple a few my, uh, to, not even hundreds it's like less than 100 miles away from miami why is it so threatening to the us this small the small caribbean island why and it's because it's a threat of a good example cuba is is a threat of a good example in the sense that we can see what socialism can do, how how people can grow, how people can be successful, how communities can thrive and flourish.